You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to CES Live. That's it Callie. Is, oh, am I? Yeah. I thought I was Scott. You're on now. Oh, you're Scott. Only if you're shaving your head. No, I'm Scott. <laughs> oh, I am not Leo. Don't even. Go. Let's not go there. I'm not going right, to be shaving right. my head. Don't worry, guys. I tried. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting a tattoo on my butt either. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Leo did. Did you hear? No. Yeah. Leo got a tattoo. Leo on. shaved his head oh. and got a tattoo on his. Oh, both. Oh, that's what I hear. I have no knowledge oh. of this personally, so I don't know. That will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did it for the kids, I believe. So welcome back, guys. We are having a blast here at CES Live. Just getting to know, look at the crowd down there. Yeah, I look know. Look behind you. It's packed. There's so, so many people. But we have some important stuff to talk about right this second, and that is Wi-Fi. Did you know that there's an entire alliance associated with Wi-Fi? I had no idea. Me either. But here to talk about that is Edgar. Welcome. Welcome, Edgar. Thanks for having me. There is an alliance. <laughs> We're the people that bring you Wi-Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi has only been around for 15 years. Did you know that? 15 years? That's it. Seems a lot it longer It seems than like that. it just has always existed and it's just there. I didn't, like, you don't really think about people bringing you Wi-Fi, do you? <laughs> At least most consumers don't. Uh, there's one complaint that people have about Wi-Fi, which is just there isn't enough of it. There isn't right? enough of it. Well, exactly. That. That's it. That. And yet, um, here's uh, just a number to put it in perspective, right? We're just announcing here at CES that this month we will have shipped 10 billion devices into the marketplace. Wow. Uh, so more than one per person in the world over this 15 year span. So it's, it's hard to imagine a world without Wi-Fi, right? Where would we be it without is. it? <laughs> that it's, would be torture. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to think about I, it. I would go hide under a rock if I have to think about that yeah. as I'll invite your, uh, your viewers here to Google <laughs> Uh, Europe loves Wi-Fi. Okay. The European Commission issued a press release last year, formally taking that position. That's uh, the kind of success we've had. <laughs> wow. But um, yeah, so uh, it, as you might imagine, there's a lot of Wi-Fi products in the in the floor. A uh, lot of uh, products for the Internet of Things, for yes. the connected home, and of course traditional uh, traditional Wi-Fi networks, uh, networking products that so you can find. It's been 10 billion, you said, 10 billion products with a B, right? With a B. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking cat and this. Um, <laughs> uh, but I imagine that in the last two to three years, that number just like, and if you were looking at it in a graph, it really kind of increased dramatically. Uh, one of the things that's been remarkable is uh, if you think about the past 15 years, right, we've had this worldwide economic recession. And through that whole period, unabated, Wi Fi has grown about over 20% per year. Uh, so it's been consistently okay. growing at that kind of rate. Last year we shipped over two billion, just last wow. year. So uh, it, you know, it's uh, it's interesting to see that even as the base that base number increases, we continue to grow at that rate. Um, so probably some of the big areas uh, that you might imagine that are now kind of in front of us are IoT and yes. smart everything, right? I did since I didn't even know there wasn't a, a Wi-Fi alliance. Can you back up for me and I'm sure a few of our viewers and tell us a little bit more about exactly what you do? Yes. Right. So we're the folks that bring you Wi-Fi. Uh, it's an organization comprised of over 600 companies. It's a who's who in technology. Uh, if you think of a brand, if you can think of a brand, it, they're probably involved in Wi-Fi lines, working to bring you the better, you know, better and better Wi-Fi. Uh, it, so it's a collaboration forum. Uh, folks contribute their ideas, cash out and debate, you know, how to make Wi-Fi better. And then we have a steady stream of improvements that probably go on and get turned on seamlessly. You don't even notice it, right? But one of the reasons you're finding Wi-Fi in airplanes and refrigerators and cars now, product, products with very long life cycles, is you can go out and buy a Wi-Fi product today with the latest stuff, and yeah. you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to throw away the stuff that you bought 15 years ago. It still all works, because we have a commitment to be backward compatible. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, as you might imagine, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. We have 20 new capabilities that we're working on right now. Like what? Uh, well, one that we're announcing, <laughs> uh, you know, that will be um, delivered uh, mid-year this year is Wi-Fi Aware. 
Uh, I think of uh, think of this as the first version of smart Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi that will be working for you without you having to do anything, right? Um, it's. Uh, uh, I like when things work for me. Yes, I as do. As opposed to me having to work, because exactly. as you guys know, I'm pretty Can you give lazy. us an example, though? What would be a, a, a use case for uh, smart Wi-Fi? Yeah, a use case is, uh, let's say that you have pre-configured your favorite game on your phone, right? And now you jump on a train, you could get a prompt saying, somebody with your skill level is two cars down. Do you want to have a game right now? <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, maybe you're at CES and you want to be connected if somebody from your graduating class in high school is here. And your phone will tell you that. Um, okay. So, so that's, that's interesting, because a lot of what you're describing right now is some, some services have, have kind of come out with like Foursquare, for instance, uh, that concept of being geolocation, uh, of being aware of geolocation. But mm -hmm. what you're saying is it's a little different than geolocation. It's actually using Wi-Fi for that. Right, and it's more than just position and location, right? It's uh, a lot of things that will be app specific, right? Um, so it, this will be a platform where, you know, uh, Tumblr, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, all of these different platforms will be able to innovate on top of and make preferences, uh, okay. pr options available to the end user. So, and I may be mischaracterizing this, or it sounds like we're going to have Wi-Fi that's just more context aware. Right. Exactly. That could right. be geo, that could be time. Exactly. That could, that could be, be a lot of things, but it's more contextual. It's contextual. That's so right. So that's where the future lies of, of Wi-Fi. It is, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm excited about all these kinds yeah. of things because very rudimentary applications have started to come out. Like, uh, at home I have a Wi-Fi garage door opener, right? And it'll tell me if I left the door open. And I could configure it to close it for me if it's been open more than two, two hours, oh, right? Oh, I like that. So I do that all the time. Things like yeah. that <laughs> I didn't even think about, right? <laughs> right. It, it yeah. make, our, make our lives easier, better, you know, and, right. and uh, uh, are what you expect from smart connected devices. Yes. Not just connected devices, but smart Smarter devices. Ones. Right. I like it. Very cool. So that's just one of like 20 things that's that right. you're working on. <laughs> We're uh, very busy. <laughs> where, <laughs> where can people find out more about your initiatives and how they can maybe help out in it or just get more information on a consistent basis. Absolutely. Our website is wifi.org. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> that's a good one. You must have had that for a while. Uh, <laughs> well, we own the term Wi-Fi. <laughs> so that was easy for us to get. But yeah, wifi.org, there's a lot of information about this and other programs coming up and you can get in touch with us there. Very cool. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Edgar. That, Absolutely. That is very interesting information that a lot of you probably weren't quite aware of. Good uh, stuff. You guys, leave a comment below. Let us know what you're thinking about all the coverage here at CES Live. Keep it.tv slash CES Live. We'll be back. I'm Scott. I'm Callie. Bye.